What's up everyone, this is Cybernide, and today I thought it'd be fun to go on ahead and go to Walmart and pick up some new Yu-Gi-Oh! Ignition Assault Packs. So, I don't know, I thought this might just be kind of a random video because uh, since I've opened up several boxes of this set, I'm wondering if maybe if I get booster packs, if I might have better luck at getting a uh, Prism or Starlight Rare, I guess is what they're technically called. So, that's what we're kind of hunting for today, and uh, let's see if we have some good luck, because I've actually seen a lot of people lately on Facebook just getting random packs and having some really good luck. So, will that happen for me? No idea. But anyway, just, let's just go on ahead and do it, <laughs> and we'll see what we get. Went ahead and kept the cardboard on them too, that way uh, you guys knew they were actually, you know, I, I got them at a store like that, they're not like from a box or something. So, uh, this could be a good thing or it could be a bad thing, I don't know. So, yeah, let's get to it. Also, be sure to like and subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. Then, uh, starting off we have Witchcrafter uh, Jenny. And then also, uh, let's see, uh, Arcjet uh, Lightcraft. Starting off with a super. Also, if you guys want to check out my TCG player link, that will be on the description. I'll have it where it takes you to Ignition Assault. That way, if there's any cards from the set you plan on buying, uh, if you use my TCG player link or the uh, code CYBERNUT, it helps out my channel. So, uh, yeah, I would greatly appreciate that as well. It's an affiliate link, so. Alright, what else we got? Well, kind of the same so far, then. Oh yeah, it's the Katakuri. I, sh I should know that then, yeah. <laughs> of course, being the Synchro. And then also Ancient Warriors, uh, Zalant, uh, Zendi. A lot of uh, Megaliths are out there. It's always nice to see a variety of different cards. I have some Rituals and a uh, Synchro and all that together. I don't know, I'm always a fan of that. This set's pretty good about that kind of stuff too. Right, next pack, Armory Call, Link Party, then, oh, well, we got one of the Megaliths, I was wondering, I, I thought I could see it was blue, so I didn't know if it was Link or uh, Ritual in this one's case, it is a Megalith uh, Ophiel, it's kind of neat, and then uh, we got another one of the Ancient Warriors, that's cool though, I think I'm just going to set them up like this, and yeah, <laughs> instead of just separating the hollows, I don't know, I think we're going to have enough room, so we'll see. Hoping maybe we get like a lightning storm, or like I said, I really want to still try to get a prismatic. Heart of the cards, maybe you can help me out here. Then, oh, there we go, we actually got an ultra rare. Okay, this is one of the ones you could get as a starlight or prismatic. I'm going to say both rarities, by the way, because I'm still not used to calling them starlight rares. Uh, but yeah, at least we got an ultra rare now, not just super rares. It is Skystriker Ace Rose, I'll take that. And then, uh, let's see, Fire Phoenix Ignister. I'm at least glad we got something above a super, of course. But yeah, all of the cards you can get as Starlight Rares are good from this set. So this is definitely one of those sets I don't mind buying a, a few extra packs of and boxes and stuff to uh, try to hunt one down. Because I still want to get one from an opening video. I haven't had that luck yet. I think Jobber just finally had that luck the other day, so I think he got his first one. Then... We got a Seeker Air! Okay, there we go, another one of the Plunder Patrols. <laughs> Seriously, both of the ships for Plunder Patrol are pretty dang easy to get, I'll admit. I've, I think I have placed it now with both of them. There's an XC and then a Synchro, but I'm still really looking forward to trying these out. And uh, if the new support, which we don't know of course yet, is going to be good for Plunder Patrol, I could see some serious hype going with these too. So, there we go. I just think it's funny, the Seekers are actually a lot easier to get than the Ultras, if you haven't noticed that. Like, they're more expensive too. And a Fiendish Portrait. Seems like a lot of people have had good luck getting the secrets, which, again, if they get some really good support, that could be an amazing thing to have then. I kind of feel like most people should go on ahead. If you have any interest in Plunder Patrol at all, pick them up while you have the chance, because most things are pretty cheap for them. And I feel like if anything went up, it might be the Seeker Ears. We'll see. Especially after Special Edition. Heldry, got one of those. And an Ultra Rare again, okay. Uh, this one is Ancient Warrior Saga 3 Visits. That's pretty awesome. Another Ancient Warriors card, too. I'll take that. At least now, again, we're seeing more than Super Rare, so <laughs> we're, we're getting going now. I'm still hoping to get some more of the Ignister cards that I'm missing, too, from this set. Had had good luck getting some of the Seeker Rare ones. 
So we will see. Oh, we got Jacko Bolin. Then another Ancient Warrior. Got the new Halloween card, basically. New Jack o' Lantern. Okay, next up. What am I getting even more of the Plunder Patrol as well? I think I'm still missing Redbeard. I think it's the one I don't have any of. So, <laughs> kind of looking for that one. Then. Oh, we got a Time Thief uh, Perpetua. That's another one you can get as a Starlight, of course. Ancient Warrior. I saw it was an XC monster. I was hoping maybe it was another one of the <laughs> the the ship, basically. The Plunder Patrol. Again, I don't want to stock it up on those. We'll see. Gotta have faith. Link Party. I like the artwork of that card, too. And, well, there we go. We, we actually got the evil Link Karibo. So, another ultra for us. This one is uh, Link Karibo, I believe is how you pronounce that. That one's pretty cool. Again, this is a good Link Monster pickup. I think it's pretty cheap to get, actually, from this set. But, uh, yeah, definitely pick one of these up while you can. I, I don't know if it would ever go up in price, but it's a good card. So, I'm just saying it because I know it's cheap now. And Megalith uh, Promotion. I've seen that in like every... Like, every deck that uses Cybers, whether it's pure Cybers, I've seen it in Salmon Grates, and even, of course, Ignisters, uh, people using it. So, you might want to pick one up, just in case. I don't, I don't know if there ever would be a, a massive, like, hype thing with it, but... Well, besides that, it's evil. It's like an evil Karibo. So, that's worth it right there. <laughs> Honestly, in my opinion. It's like, yeah. I have to admit. Guard Ghost... And uh, the other Megalith, yeah, because we got the other one last time, uh, Eritron. And then uh, uh, I Love Fusion. I'll just, yeah, <laughs> say it correctly. Always have to think about it for a second. All right, we still have some more chances. That's kind of what I like versus a box, because after a box, you get your two secrets, you're like, more than likely, I'm not getting anything, right? So out of random packs, we don't know. <laughs> like I said, that's a good thing and a bad thing. I don't want a Link Party. It's usually like the first card. And uh, when Pegasus Ignister. And then, of course, Ancient Warrior. They have such long names, I kind of just, yeah. <laughs> Probably better off just calling them Ancient Warriors. Makes it a little easier. Alright. Share your energy with me, you guys. Seriously, I really want to get a Starlight out of one of these openings. Let's see, and, uh, well, another one of the Witchcrafter. And Ancient Warriors, again, too. I don't know why, I just thought maybe there would be something out of that one. Still three packs left. Alright, Heart of the Cards, help me out. At the very least, I'm hoping we get a Secret Rare, another one, but, uh... We'll see. All right, got a curry. And uh, we got one of a Light Dragon Ignister. That one's pretty cool. Again, I kind of wish this would have been a Starlight or something, right? It's a, it's a pretty cool looking card. Of course, you can get his Ghost Rift from Japan. That would have been cool to have, of course. I would definitely love that. I miss Ghost Rares. I bought a Japanese one, though, that's Ghost Rare, because they're actually pretty cheap. Not too bad. Only way I can get Ghost Rares, too, of course. Shiny Black Sea. I'm still happy we finally got that card. That's a pretty good one. And? Oh, we got a, a Secret Rare. Okay, this is one I don't have yet, either. That's another one of the Ignister. It is uh, Picari Ignister. So, there we go. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, this is one of the ones I'm missing. I, I don't know how many I need of each of them. I know there's the Fire one, which I've gotten one of from an unboxing. And I hadn't got any of this one, which is the Light one. So... Uh, yeah, at least I finally got one, right? That is awesome. I still know that one, the island, is going to be interesting to get. That seems like the priciest card for it, Nisters, and it's also a secret. They have, like, three different ones. But we got really close. I mean, we're closer to it then. And then also we got a uh, Cross Sheep. That's also really good, too. That's probably the best rare, if not one of the best Link Monsters of the set, even though it's a rare. Like, definitely pick one of these up if you can. Most boxes, or at least the boxes I've opened up, I think I got one per box. So it's kind of short printed, but... 
it's I guess it's better than it being like a secret rare. So, because <laughs> I think it would have been relatively expensive if it would have been. And last pack, okay, what else can we get? I'm happy we got a couple of secret rares, but you still got to see what else you can get. So, again, help me out here, you guys. I still haven't given up on getting a uh, Starlight. I, I want to get one so bad. This would be a good set to get one, too. Okay, what do we got? Last pack. And... Ah, uh, unfortunately not. We got the Generator Boss of uh, Delusion. And then another one of the Ancient Warrior cards. So, yeah. Unfortunately, we did not get a Starlight Rare. I mean, odds on that are not the best, but you still gotta try anyway, right? And honestly, had some pretty good luck. I mean, we got a few Ultra Rares, we got a couple of Secret Rares, and uh, yeah. And again, I'll probably get some more of these booster packs anyway, because I kind of like the idea of, you know, like I said, with a box, you kind of know if you're not going to get anything. But with random packs, you always have a chance, it feels like. Which, again, it is still more of a gamble. I don't know if I necessarily recommend it, but for the suspense on videos... It might be better off to try, so I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, though. Definitely happy with what I got, but I still want to try to hunt down one of those Starlight Rares. So let me know if you guys would like to see me try to hunt one of those down. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and all that, too. Again, check out my TCG Player link. It helps out tremendously when you do. And, uh, yeah, of course I will. Catch you guys later. See ya.